so I want to make this video shorter than usual because lately my videos have been 20 minutes long and they just turn into endless rants but one got my hair done two Philadelphia is tearing up the street where my room is so I might be filming in the backyard a little bit yeah the Pope is coming to Philadelphia and we gotta make it look nice for him and tear up the street with drills all day this is the backyard pretty nice so anyway before I get off track um, I wanted to make so I was gonna make this an Instagram post and just like one and done but it's been happening to me for a while so I wanted to talk about it make a public record episode anyway so this is about tattoo theft and um, tattoo shopping on the internet so um, since the beginning of time I get messages all the time about my tattoos and most commonly my the questions I get are about my shark tattoo you've seen it um, and then once someone on tumblr got this tattoo this girl crying and you know I get a lot of questions about I'll get I will get emails or messages or direct messages on Instagram that are like can you send me a picture of your shark tattoo I want it and um, it happens kind of a lot a girl asked me once on tumblr and I posted that entire response I should have brought it down and then another girl asked me on Instagram and just the same exact question, different girl. And the responses I gave to them were pretty much, what kind of artists were you looking at? What city do you live in? I can recommend somebody who can do whatever style you're interested in as the same idea. Um, and the one girl on Instagram messaged me back and was like, you know, the tattoo I want is exactly yours. I want a shark that fits my body. And and then again, she was like, please just send it to me as a reference. And I was like, what city do you live in? She was like, Houston. So I sent her a list of tattoo artists who live in Houston that I really like. And I said, bring in a picture from National Ge Geographic of a shark. And I promise you, if you take that picture and you find an artist that you love and you love their style, they will create a tattoo of a shark. They know what sharks look like. And that's always my best advice. If you find a tattoo on a person already that you really like, find an artist you love that could do no wrong in your eyes and take it to them and say, you know, this is what I like about this tattoo. This is where I want it. Can you make it your own? I think that's the best way to deal with it because over the years I remember there was like this uh, suicide girl who had a tattoo of a bird and the wingspan went over the shoulders and went over her chest and I swear <laughs> I saw like 10 different people get that same exact tattoo and it was like why you take it away from her when you get it it's not fair and my other complaint is what artist that you're going to would dare be like yeah I'll do that same exact tattoo on you like you need to be going to better tattoo artists who have that I don't know responsibility who have that ingrained in them to not steal someone's art and then steal from another person who put that tattoo on themselves so here's where this came from the other night I was at school and I got a direct message and I had to accept the message because I think it wasn't even from someone who followed me and their face is blurred out and their username is blurred out but so I got this picture and the caption said tat inspo so I zoomed in and BAM recognize that because
<laughs> there it is. So, um, I responded to her and I said, well, first I messaged my tattoo artist because I was like, what, what do I even do? I felt so guilty. I was like, I put myself on a public platform and now people are stealing art from me and my tattoo artist because like that tattoo, I understand. Okay, let me start over. I completely understand getting a tattoo from a flash sheet because those are historical and they mean something and they're they're just a part of American tattooing or any culture that it's from. I understand that. And honestly, most tattoo artists will put their own spin on it. Like, I have tattoo flash tattooed on me, but it's always specialized by the artist. Like, I always get a tattoo because I love the work that that artist does, so I know that they can make a tattoo unique to me. Like, I've seen this cardinal done a thousand times, but I know that mine is special to me because I got it done by an artist that I love. So, I responded to her and I said, oh no. And I said, hey, my artist designed that tattoo just for me. I wish you would have asked me first, but shame on a tattoo artist that would replicate and steal another artist's work. And I know that's kind of harsh, but I said that because that tattoo was created just for me. When I emailed him, I was like, hey, I want a crybaby tattoo because it's been a hard year and I cry all day. And I was like, but I don't want the traditional crying baby tattoo. And, you know, he made that tattoo for me because I wanted a specific tattoo and he put a spin on it that was unique to my shitty year and, you know, what I needed. And, you know, he fit it to that part of my body and I've never seen a tattoo like it and I think that it's amazing. And for someone else that I don't even know to get the same tattoo as me, it takes it away from me. Like, I have friendship tats and bro tats and matching tats, but like, they're with my homies. Like, my girl has this tattoo, and I know that like, I haven't seen her for a while since we, because we've both been busy, but I know that like, we both have that tattoo, and we got it together, and it's amazing. But like, I don't know that girl. I, I wasn't even following her. I had to accept her direct message. And for her to just say, tad inspo, like, you weren't inspired by my tattoo, you stole it from me. And you took a picture of my tattoo to, like, some scratcher who was like, yeah, totally, five dollars. Because that tattoo is, like, and I say scratcher just because there's no integrity behind seeing that tattoo and taking it. Because if you went to an artist and you were like, hey, I saw this image of a tattoo online and I want it for myself, I think anyone would be like, okay, let's change this and this and then it'll be all yours. Or like, yeah, I can do that tattoo, but this is my style, so it'll come out like this. But, you know, I think it's been a thing in tattoo world right now where all of us are kind of talking about you can go to this tattoo shop where they'll give you something custom and something beautiful and something that you want and something that they want and something that their input is in or you can go to this tattoo shop over here and they'll do whatever you want for fifty dollars despite input and that's what it is it's i don't know i think if you go to a real tattoo shop and do it the right way, you can get something custom and something amazing that's unique to you. And that's what I told those girls who asked me about the shark tattoo. Because when it came down to it, the one girl, she had never been tattooed before and she didn't know the questions to ask. And I was, you know, I asked her, I was like, do you have other tattoos? And she said no. And I was like, yeah, you know, getting a tattoo is a really big deal. And why wouldn't you want something that's all yours? Why would you want to be like, yeah, I saw this quaking girl, so like I got her tattooed too. 
I don't know. So here's my rant on people <laughs> stealing my tattoos, stealing anybody's tattoos. If you really like someone's tattoo, take it to an artist you really like and have them create something completely new just because they drew it with their own hand. It becomes unique. Anyway, anyway. In short, too long didn't read. If you see a tattoo on someone and you love it, take it to an artist, a creative artist, someone, a tattoo artist that could do no wrong by you and have them recreate it. That's all I ask. That's it. Because messages with my tattoos on other people do not flatter me, they upset me, they, uh, they take away, I don't know. Every time, not every time, but when I look at that tattoo from now on, I'm gonna be like, who's this girl who has the same tattoo as me and I don't even know her? We're not even bros. That's not even a bro tat. Tat inspo! I don't know. People are gonna be mad at this, but this is my feeling on it. Get your own tattoos. I don't know. Bye.